old. So I'm on my way to go do some fishing. I've got about a half hour drive, about maybe 40 minutes, actually going to the San Juan River. Uh, it's my local river. And it's considered one of the best in America. I don't know what the number is, rating wise, but I know it's in definitely the top 10. I'll show you guys just how pretty this is. Really dramatic rock structures. So I gotta pull in and pick something up at the fly shop. I'm going in here to float and fish. One of my favorite places on the San Juan River. Isn't it the worst being stuck behind a slow garbage truck? When you really want to get out on the water and fish, man, I want to get out and fish. Texas Hole. belt underneath and now we're dropping off right at the top part of the braids super clear water look at that and look at the immense beauty here we're gonna come around the corner here and we'll see uh, We'll walk just a few feet and we'll see where we're going to start fishing. And we'll see right at the corner of this rock, right there. It's going to be hard to see from here, but there's a bunch of midges that are on the top of the water right now, so that's good. So I decided to fish a dry fly at the corner of that rock, and boy did it pay off. Yeah. First fish of the day, but like an idiot, I forgot to set my drag. Oh. Bent that hook. That sucker bent the hook. Scared him away, I guess. See that and how well it'll focus. I'm not able to see what it is, but the hook bent. After bending the hook on the fish, I decided to switch to midge fishing. Now comes the mid fishing grind. And you know how I forgot to set the drag on that last fish? Well, you'd think I would fix the drag. Yeah, you're covering some angles down here, I see. Yeah, I got a YouTube channel, man. What's that? I got a YouTube channel, so I just uh, yeah, cool. Film. 
<laughs> did, did, did you film did you film the one you just lost yeah okay it's gonna be embarrassing you are you have to show them all right right no one said I'm good uh, that's all right. <laughs> make, the, make the river look good <laughs> After putting on a new midge, I hooked up with a monster trout. There I go, double checking my drag again. I soon realized that my leader was way too long and I was having trouble getting an angle on the fish to bring him in. Yep, I lost him. And once again, I hooked up with a very large trout.
Although I never got to see this one, I couldn't even budge him. He was diving deep and I couldn't move him whatsoever. So after losing three very large trout, I decided to switch to a streamer which would allow me to have a bigger hook. I was pretty fed up with midge fishing at this point. Well, I started actually catching and keeping fish. However, they were very small. Nothing like these large trout I was catching on the midges. There's another thing I wanted to tell you guys about. That is quality waters. I didn't show myself crimping any of the barbs down, but you have to fish barbless there. It's barbless and no bait. Partially why I lost one of those. Gave him a little slack and boom, popped right out. I think there's one other spot I'm gonna check out. It's uh, this time it's not in quality waters. So I'm going about 10 minutes down the road, it's on the way home. I'm just gonna drop by, check it out. Sometimes they're popping the top there, and it's really good streamer fishing spot. Caught quite a few, hooked up at least with quite a few. Uh, brought in a bunch of little guys, but like I said before, you're gonna lose them. It's just what it is when you're fishing they, those small midges, tiny little wire, bent the first hook, 
Oh, that's fishing, right? <laughs> 